So why are more people not talking about this? I'm a little confused. Stick around. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. So if you watched this video here, when I went over the installation and review of my Samsung S90D OLED and where I bought the LightMe Fantasy 3 sync box because it supported 4K at 120 hertz, you'll understand what I'm about to tell you and why I'm so excited about it. But a little recap, in case you didn't watch that video, but if you didn't, you should go watch it. The LightMe Fantasy 3 sync box is a complete disappointment. It didn't work. I couldn't get my PlayStation to show any video through it whatsoever. Got it all hooked up, attached it to the television, was all super excited, and nothing. Very disappointing. So ultimately, I took it off the TV, boxed it back up, and returned it. And I'll never buy another Lightning product because of that. But then one day, I was reading an article that reminded me that Samsung and Philips Hue had collaborated to provide the ability of doing synchronization directly from the TV. Yeah. So I bought a 55 inch Philips Hue gradient light strip and got it set up, got it connected to my Philips Hue app, got it mounted to the back of the television and went into the TV and actually purchased the application. Now, the app is specific to the TV. So if you buy it and you pay the one-time fee of like $129, you can only use that app on that TV. You can't transfer it to another TV or anything else, but that's fine. I don't, it doesn't really matter to me. Downstairs, I have a Hue Sync box, but the current Philips Hue Sync box doesn't support 4K. Well, in reading about the synchronization through the TV, it does support 4K at a 120 hertz because the signal is not actually passing through anything. The TV is taking what it's getting and actually then displaying the colors based on this input signal into the TV. So it doesn't have to go anywhere else. So there's no pass through. And I it was like a eureka moment, even though I already knew about it. I don't understand why I didn't remember that this even existed. I was like, got it all synchronizing. And I'm amazed. It works flawlessly. Video games, as you can see here. TV, movies. Doesn't matter what comes into the TV. It's going to display the colors. It's just as reactive as the Hue Sync boxes downstairs. And actually, I find it to be a little more accurate into what the colors are actually on the screen. Um, maybe that's because of how it's getting the signal. I'm not really sure, but I find the experience to be awesome. Now, I didn't get a bar for the bottom. Uh, I still might, but because this TV sits on a coffee table, uh, it's not really high up, so you can't really see a whole lot what's on the bottom. And if I put the light bar behind the TV, the stand, it's got this big section in the middle that you're not going to get any light through anyway. So I don't know, still in the fence on that, but we'll see. So a sync box is like 229. The app is like 129. The gradient light strip is going to cost you the same no matter what. So this is actually a lower point of entry into having these synchronized lights. And I, it's just awesome. I'll put links in the description to the lights. And I'll even link to a page for Samsung that kind of goes over the app. Because it's pretty cool. But you can set the app to automatically start syncing as soon as the TV comes on. So no matter what input you're using, whether it be game, console, uh, TV signal, maybe you have a... Uh, Google TV um, device or some other Android TV device. It doesn't matter what it is. And that's the phenomenal thing about it is 
you can hook anything to the TV up that you want, and it's going to be able to give you the lights. Matter of fact, I left it running while I was doing this video, so I'm sure you can see over here the colors as it's been going through the different scenes on the television. Um, I've got a hockey game playing in the background because, hey, it's playoff season. But uh, I just want to make a quick video on this because I don't understand why more people aren't talking how awesome this is. Um, there's a few people who have reviewed it, but I just don't see a lot. And I don't understand that because to me, this is fantastic. It gives me an amazing light strip to use. It's bright, colorful, unlike the light me that I could barely see. That synchronizes no matter what the content is coming in. So yes, 4K, 120 hertz. And I could play my Gran Turismo at 4K, 120 hertz. I can play Modern Warfare 3 in 4K at 120 hertz. And the lights are going to replicate. And it's just stellar. So, go check it out. If you have the app, I'd sure love to hear your comments. See how it works for you. Basically, any smart Samsung television within the last two or three years supports this app. And as long as you have a Philips Hue um, hub, you're good to go. Just buy the lights. Now, if you don't have the hub, you will need to purchase a hub in order to get the synchronization to work because it communicates with the hub on the network. So you'll definitely want to have that if you don't have one. But if you already have one, like I did, you just connect it. And that's it. There's nothing else to buy, nothing else to do. You buy the app, you buy the light strip, and any other colored lights you want. Like, I mean, you could buy some play bars to fit on the bottom or around the sides or whatever you want to do. And uh, you can add it to your entertainment group where you're basically telling the app, this is the light that I want to control with this particular synchronization. It's, it's so easy to set up. It's crazy. And I don't know why I didn't think of this before, because had I remembered that, I probably wouldn't even have bought that light me to begin with, because I'm super happy with my Philips Hue gradient light strip downstairs. I love Philips Hue products. Yes, they are more expensive, but guess what? As I always say, they just work. I don't have to mess around with it. I get it, set it, forget it, and just use it, and it's awesome. So, if you have one, let me know what you think of the app. If you have the Light Me Fantasy 3, let me know in the comments what you think of that. Uh, because my experience was terrible. So don't forget, go check out this video here, which goes over the installation of the TV, the Light Me, and my review of both products.